welcome back and it's a big blow for team india this is exactly what team india did not need at this stage it's official now zaheer khan is going to be out for the remaining tests and the odis in england now he will return to india soon zaheer managed to bowl just 3 overs in the practice game against uh, northamptonshire before leaving the field for treatment now he didn't return after that in those 3 overs however zaheer khan was expensive conceding 8 runs and over now remember he picked up a hamstring injury on day 1 of the lord's test which made him set out the second test at trent bridge as well and well left arm uh, fast bowler rp singh will be flying to england as zaheer khan's replacement for the remaining two tests and odis rp singh last played a test in the year 2008 against south africa in ahmedabad now his last odi in fact was in the year 2009 against pakistan in centurion well staying with all the cricketing action now news on rahul dravid in fact after he was picked in the odi squad for the england series now jami announced that he would retire from the odi and international t20 cricket after the end of the england series take a look For a man known to quietly and diligently gather records, Rahul Dravid notched up a rather quirky one on Saturday. On the very day he was recalled to the Indian ODI side, the ball announced his retirement just hours later from the shorter format of the game. See, I'm honored and privileged to be, you know, selected in the Indian One Day team. Since I'd not been picked for One Day cricket for for the last uh, two years, you know, I was obviously a, a little surprised and. and to be honest because i wasn't picked uh, i had not informed the selectors or the board you know of my desire to solely focus on on test cricket uh, at the end of this you know one day series uh, i'd like to announce my retirement in from one day and 2020 cricket amongst the greatest servants of indian cricket dravid has done just about everything from captaincy to opening the batting in treacherous conditions to even wicket keeping when needed but a formal announcement of his retirement from ODI is perhaps a message to the selectors to stop turning to him each time the indian team faces a crisis on foreign soil his recall to the side for the five match ODI series versus england quite obviously a knee jerk reaction to the inability of india's one day regulars to face chin music from the english pacers clearly in the short term this is uh, an excitement uh, definitely looking forward now to this one day series in the short term but like i said in the long term I think uh, you know I think it's uh, best for me to solely focus on on test cricket. So while the wall is happy to stand up and protect the Indian team once again by playing the ODIs here in England what he isn't happy about is the fact that he wasn't consulted by the selectors before picking the squad and hence the announcement to retire from the short formats of the game. In Northampton with Jaydeep Bhandarkar Nikhil Nas for NDTV. Well, here's one story that's uh, creating ripples across the world. Thailand, the 10-year-old French Vogue model's Facebook account has been blocked by her mother to keep her away from the adult-sized controversy that her provocative poses have raised worldwide. Here in India as well, many have condemned her picturization on the fashion cover. Let's take a look. All of 10 years, she is already being tipped as the next big thing on the fashion circuit, but this provocative image has sparked outrage in Europe. Thilen Lena Rose Blondeau featured in the French Vogue magazine in heavy makeup and posing provocatively has many asking is this taking it too far you are encouraging a latent hidden secret in your own families which is commod commodifying the girl child okay that is why it's a bad thing it's a bad thing because you immediately look at the magazine photograph and you look at somebody else's 13 year old child and you juxtapose the two images not realizing that hello those are all made up things the controversy though is not new brook shields role in the film pretty baby had sparked similar outrage in the late 70s now thelane's entry into the fashion world follows a recent trend for younger models like 13 year old elle fanning and 14 year old hayley steinfeld psychologists are alarmed at the trend and warn that this is the antithesis of what childhood should be a disturbing sign that is inappropriate not endearing it must come with a warning and it must be safeguarded that the child uh, child's interests at heart and the innocence remain uh, untapped which unfortunately the side effect of fame comes along with it recently the uk government enforced restrictions on the sexualization of children in the media and sexual content in advertising and this case has only highlighted their need to be enforced 
एन एन ई टी वी ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट वेल दैट्स ऑल वी हैव टाइम फॉर हैव अ गुड नाइट